If you're going to set up a global interceptor for your Axios requests so that your access token can get to your API, you've got to be aware that this means your access token is going to go to any server that you make a request to with Axios. And this is not such a great thing because if we send our access tokens to servers that we don't control, well, who knows what those servers are going to do with them. Now, chances are they're probably not going to do anything malicious, but we really have no way of knowing. At the very least, they are probably at least keeping those access tokens in their logs because they're probably logging traffic that's coming in. Either way, this is not something that we want. So one way around this is to use an Axios instance that is specific to our API. But if you do want to use a global interceptor, you should at least check the origin for the request going out before you attach the access token. And we can do this in just a few lines of code. So in the config callback here, let's grab our origin and we can get that by saying, give us a new URL and we'll pass in config.url. So this is going to take the URL of the outgoing request and run it through a new URL instance, which will give us an object to work with. And from that, we are taking origin. Now let's give ourselves a list of allowed origins. So this will be an array with any origins that we know about, any servers that we control. And in this case, it's just HTTP localhost 3001. So now it's just a matter of making sure that the origin for the outgoing request is found within our allowed origins array. And there are a few different ways to do this, but we can simply maybe just say if the allowed origins includes the origin of the request going out, then let's send that token. So this should give us what we want. If we click get users, we still get our users. And we can prove that this will not send our access token to servers that we don't control if we send a request to something like the GitHub API. To prove that out, why don't we make a new function here to fetch some GitHub users data? And everything will be the same in here, except that instead of making that get request to our own API, we are going to go to HTTPS api.github.com slash users. We won't worry too much about displaying this user data on the screen. Really, the exercise here is just to prove that our access token doesn't go to GitHub. So why don't we just copy over this button quickly? And instead of fetch data, it's going to be fetch GitHub data. And the button text can just say get GitHub users. So let's run this. And in the network tab, we should see that for our get users, so the one going to our own API, we have the authorization header going in as we expect. And now if we make a request to get GitHub users, we get the result, we can preview it there. But in the request headers, we should not see our authorization header. And sure enough, it's not there. So again, if you're not going to use a dedicated Axios instance for your own API, you really should at least check the origin for the outgoing request in your global interceptor.